remove the included scoop and brush from the water tank. The brush can be used to clean your Nanopresso of any excess grounds that can build up over time. The water tank also has a cup attached to it. Next, unscrew the portafilter and remove the coffee filter basket. Add finely ground coffee into the scoop. Transfer the finely ground coffee from the scoop into the filter basket. Be sure to clean any grounds off the rim of the filter basket. The next step is to tamp the coffee using the bottom of the scoop as a tamper. There should be about four millimeters of space at the top of the filter basket after you tamp. To ensure proper grind size, use a scale to weigh eight grams of coffee. Next, put the coffee filter basket into the Nanopresso and screw on the portafilter. Make sure the portafilter is screwed on tight. Next, add boiling water to the water tank. The water should be at least 190 degrees Fahrenheit. Fill the water up to the line marked on the inside of the water tank. Screw the water tank onto the Nanopresso. Unlock the piston by twisting it counterclockwise. Flip the Nanopresso upside down and start pumping with slow, consistent pumps to build up pressure inside the machine. It should take about six to eight pumps to get up to pressure.
Drip kettle with a specially designed spout to control water. A ceramic hand mill with a fold away handle. A permanently etched stainless steel filter. And a double walled tumbler. Time, coffee time. Now the Bialetti is a full stainless steel stovetop coffee maker that can be used on induction cooktops as well as ceramic, electrical and gas. And the Musa comes in a two, four, six and ten cup capacity. Today we're brewing with a four cup so let's jump straight in with the Bialetti Musa Mocha Pot. To begin with, you want to measure your beans out. I just use the basket to do this. It's a simple method I use daily, but in weighing your coffee out, the basket holds approximately 22 grams. To have a rich and delicious, flavorful espresso, you want to grind your coffee to a nice, fine espresso grind. Then place those grounds in the basket and with the back of a spoon, gently flatten them down. Next, I'll fill the bottom vessel with water to just below the pressure valve, which is around 200 mils of water. And using heated water to fill your vessel will speed up the whole brew time and help make your coffee taste less bitter. Place the filter basket on top, making sure there are no grounds trying to escape over the rim of the basket. As when we screw down the lid to the bottom, we need to make a nice tight seal here. Then place it on the stove on a medium to low heat. Now a slow rising boil is perfect to produce a smoother coffee. So I'm aiming for a heat that lets the pressure gradually rise and then the water will slowly percolate through your bed of coffee. It should take a total of five minutes or so to finish brewing. And it will start off slow, but speed up at the end. And you'll know when it's done as the coffee will begin spurting out and you don't wanna leave it on the stove here too long afterwards. So turn off your heat remove it from the stove and then pour your coffees out into your cups. Now I'm going to enjoy my coffee straight but they are the perfect strength to add some milk for a delicious latte or cappuccino. In cleaning the unit you do want to wait for it to cool down first. Then unscrew the top, remove the filter basket and tap those grinds out. Rinsing everything under water is important but then keeping it nice and dry before placing it back together is key. 
and that's the Bialetti Musa Mocha Pot for you. It's a quality built stainless steel mocha pot that's gonna work on any cooktops and it's going to brew deliciously strong espresso stovetop coffee.